Sherry, we live? Oh, I can see the light. We are. I'm Jonathan Cross. I'm here bringing you another fantastic movie script idea. Disney, I hope you're listening. Here's your billion dollar investment. Gritty, live action, Christopher Nolan directed Aladdin. Right out of the gates, I want to make this clear. This isn't your grandma's Aladdin, okay? This shit is tight. It's grime as fuck. You think gritty when you think Dark Knight, take that 10 steps further and you have Aladdin. And you know who's going to play the Prince of Thieves? Uh, we're going with the Prince of Persia, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, as you can see, I have some crude drawings. They're not my finest work, but I think they nail the point uh, that I'm trying to make. I want to keep this ball moving, though. I'm going to go to the female of the group, the leading lady, Princess Jasmine herself, played by Scarlett Johansson. If anybody can pack the theater, it's Scar Joe. I know what you're thinking in your head. Uh, Jonathan Cross, the color doesn't really match the drapes here. Uh, these actors don't really fit the category that we're going after from the original screen. You know what? I don't give a shit. I mean, we're going to whitewash the fuck out of this cast. That's the bottom line. You want to put people in the seats, you got to whitewash. Everybody thinks that Robin Williams is the genie. He's the happy-go-lucky one. He's magical. He's fun. Not anymore. We're taking this shit to the streets. And no one can provide that level of authenticity more than Samuel L. Jackson. This is not your grandma's genie. This is not your grandma's movie. I'm trying to tell you that. My genie comes out. He's all black. He's got double guns. This guy's seen some shit. And he's, he's just in your face at all times. He is pure grit. He looks at Aladdin. He's like, I'm sick of all these motherfucking genies rubbing my motherfucking lamp. As for Aladdin's companion, Abu, we have a lot of interesting things we're going to do with him. First off, he's all CGI. Think Planet of the Apes. Think King Kong level realism. That's what we're going for. He's got a fucking scar that goes through his face. This is a weathered Abu. He's been in the cut. He's been in the fray behind enemy lines. He's got double daggers he uses for weapons. Abu is going to have a good portion of screen time, and I'd really like to press further onto his backstory, maybe tell the tale of how he and Aladdin became best friends. Uh, we could save that also for a spin-off. This film is going to be about three hours, but I'd like to spend a lot of that time with Aladdin himself, Jake Gyllenhaal. Scar Jo is, uh, she's basically Black Widow. She's going to be able to fend for herself. She's going to have a sword, but she's also going to have a pistol. Um, we could probably use the same costume even from Avengers, just bring it all in. But what I really want to really want to touch on is Iago the Parrot. He absolutely must be reprised by Gilbert Gottfried. You know, Gilbert's back, and he's better than ever. He can do the voice still. He absolutely nails it. He fucking crushes it. And I need to have him in this picture. And, and if he's not in it, the movie's off. As far as I'm concerned, I think we're all fine with that. I think we can all agree that that's the way things need to happen. Now, uh, we're going to do a controversial stunt casting thing here with uh, Jafar. We're going with um, JGL, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. We want to kind of have this Heath Ledger moment with people where they're like, whoa, how can he do the role? Well, fuck you, he can do the role. Carpet's fully rendered CGI. The stupid tiger or lion or whatever the hell Jasmine has, that thing's out. We have enough animals in this fucking picture. This isn't Zootopia, which we're also going to be doing a live-action remake of. Just now's not the time. The Cave of Wonders with the giant talking lion. That is, uh, Aladdin's going to fight that now. That's going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle. At first, we're going to think Aladdin loses it. He's on the ground. He's half dead. Suddenly, Abu comes out. Double daggers, classic Abu. He takes out the legs of the lion, drops that fucker down. Then all these little lion babies come out. Sand baby lions. Abu's fighting them. Uh, Jasmine's there. She's got the double pistol. I think we're going to do the 360 Avengers pan with, with uh, Jasmine doing that. Now you're probably thinking this is a large scale endeavor, and it is. But what I'm pitching you right now is actually very small scale to my overall vision which is a full Disney Cinematic Universe, a Disney Cinematic Princess Universe, or DCPU for short. That's just the tip of the dick, though. There's so much more. Have you ever heard the phrase edging? That's what the kids do these days because they hate themselves. That's when you masturbate to climax, but then stop. You don't complete. That's what the Aladdin film is. Aladdin takes out uh, Jafar's scepter, for instance. The scepter smashes to the ground. The camera follows the magic as it flies across the land, all these little bits and uh, whatever this trickery is, and it lands on the head of a fresh baby who's just born, who's just birthed. 
her name, Elsa. And all she wants to do is build a snowman with her sister. But she gets snow powers now from Jafar's scepter, and she has the ability to control ice. What? Bullet points to wrap this up. Christopher Nolan tandem filming with Zack Snyder picture. $250 million budget plus another $200 million for marketing. This thing's going to gross at least a billion by the time it's out the door. It's going to be a giant cinematic universe. This is just the first stepping stone to the bigger grand picture. Eventually we'll get all our Disney princesses together to fight. They're probably all going to be played by Scarlett Johansson. Maybe I'll throw Anna Kendricks in there. Bottom line is they're all white. You get the idea. This is a huge movie. It's going to be huge revenue. And I can't wait to get started to make a shit ton of money and eventually reboot it again in 15 years. We got a movie? We got a movie.